There you go. Not working on this one today. Working on this turn instead. Something really fun. Another service video. So, uh, let's stay tuned. Oh, I haven't shut the door properly, so it looks like that's why the door's open. But anyway, let's, uh, we're going to give this a service, but, uh, <coughs> make sure she's out of gear and we'll get it warmed up. Rapid warm procedure. Bluetooth. Working for connection. What the fuck is that? Yeah? Not connected to me. Anyway, let's get on with it. Low fuel though, there's a surprise. Woman's car in it. Uh, let's move it round to our um, council provided um, ramps. Right, so as you can see, we are getting a bit warm and we're getting it up to temperature. Just like to point out the uh, COVID paraphernalia. Um, you know, throughout the vehicle. Um, and let's uh, pop the hood. Not, not pop the hood. The bonnet. See, we've got it on the edge of the curb, which is the uh, aforementioned council supplied ramps, so I can fit my belly under there. And let's uh, let's witness this. There you are. I mean, this is quite silly actually. For all the engine bay, for 1242 milliliters of pure adrenaline. See on modern cars, I mean, you can see the back of the head, like, look, oh, fit my hands into places. That. It's amazing. Look, look at all the room everywhere. Only good thing about it. Now we've wasted what little fuel we had getting up to temperature, we'll, we'll drop the oil. So at which point you'll need to make, sure, make, your, way, make your way underneath the vehicle. Right, the sump plug I need is, is a 12 milli X, which is right there. Just touch it with my nose. Right. And when I was doing this Vivaro pre master bait the other day, I should have used that one, which I didn't have with me at the time, hence using a fucking hammer and chisel. So... <laughs> yes, this is a bit... I'm still too fat to fit underneath it. That's falling in there, isn't it? <laughs> That's pretty tight, aren't you know? Fucking hell! More leverage on it, because it's fucking tight. Jesus! Not like the car we're gonna spin on end at fucking socket. Now, it would be ideal to have the car more level, but to drop the oil out of it, it's not as important as when we put the oil back in. So we'll, we'll level it up before we uh, top it up. Not only is it tight, it's long, this sunk plug. It seems to be. Right, ready for it. The harsh black oil. Who's your brother will be on this? Yeah. And that is a petrol, not a diesel. You're also going to want to take the oil filter off. Makes sense really when you're changing the oil filter, doesn't it? Not very tight actually. Um, or shouldn't be very tight. If it is, then there's something wrong. But let's take that off, that's a boss filter. We're putting some cross lung shit on, but cheap, cheap and cheerful. It does the job. Just as good as a boss, really. I would just throw that in there. And, I wish people would stop driving past when I'm trying to talk shit. Right. What we're saying is, is if you've... And again, right, what we're going to do is we're going to pour a little bit of oil, new oil, before we put the sump plug in. Just to... Just to flush out, to rinse the sump out, really. It's not... It's not going to do a whole lot, but it, it just makes you feel better, really. And it's always worth checking for a bit of mayonnaise on these because this is a pump troll and they do like to uh they do like to fuck head gaskets up. And now I am getting porked by the village idiot. As I'm fuck off Stephen. Getting bullied here. And we'll 
I'll just run that through. Is that not? We didn't even notice. Fly oil to seal first. We'll clean the seating area. Tighten by hand job. Blah de blah. So let's do that while we're waiting for. I mean, that's clean oil I've put through there. Just a little splash. So, uh... Yes. Yes. Look at that. This was the other one now, doesn't it? I'll get some top oil and wipe that off. Fucking... Yes, nearly dropped it. Let's try again. This is really quite frustrating to watch, I imagine, but I'm going to keep on filming. Oh, I've got it in. Let's take it out and do it again. Oh, nice and... I mean, I can just about reach this. Right, so before that falls out, I'm going to move this. Otherwise, that socket's falling in, oil in it. It's already fucking covered. The stuff I volunteer to fucking do. Right, so now we just tighten this up. There will be a torch setting for it, but you just do it so it's tight, but not stripped. Just use your common sense. But if you break it, don't blame me. Right, so I'm up top. So now, let's tidy up before we finish off. I've still got to tighten the oil filter up, let's not forget that. And you can access it nicely from the top. If you just get your hand on here, I don't know if you can see that. You can't see that. You can see that. And it is... Tight enough. I forgot what you had tight enough. So there, oil. Uh, drain filter on. So now let's spunk some new oil into it. Which we've got here. And as you can see, it's 530C3. I hope it's the right stuff, it's what your car parts give me. And once I've said before, they are never ever wrong. Don't know how much it takes, I'm just going to put some in it and see where the level is. Still going, still going. Did put some plug in, didn't I? Yeah, I did put some plug in, yeah. You don't need to watch this. And we've just got enough so it is on the mark. We're gonna uh, we're gonna top it up when we're finished. It's the last thing that we're gonna do. Um so I'll put that lid back on. And where's that rag on there? It's already in place. Might as well wipe that off because otherwise it's just gonna Get oil everywhere, innit? Most of that's water, actually. Where that's from. Well, let's just give that a wipe before we drop the car down off these ramps. That's it. Um, I don't know if you notice here, if you've noticed yet, but one, two, three. This isn't a five cylinder car. So it looks like we've got a spare spark plug given to us by uh, your car parts. So next, what we need to do, is make sure it's out of gear again, and we're going to start it until the oil light goes out, just to circulate the oil. Blue and two. fuck off. Waiting for connection. Yeah, yeah. Right, and then we're going to put the car onto some level ground because we don't need to get under it again. Now we've done all the under underneath shit, so let's put it on some um, level ground. On this curb. Nah, I've got the power to get the curb. Fucking hell. Boot up. Oh well. Blue tube. So let's do the rest of the job. To tackle would be 
the sparklers and the air filter. And as you can see, I mean, before I even loosened it off, the signs have gone all out in the whole material. So let's remove this. Look at that, Johnny's falling out of there now. That should be in there. That should stay in there. That's a good sound, isn't it? Yes. So that's also falling out, which shouldn't do. But, doesn't really matter. We've also got a vacuum pipe there. And then there's a breather pipe there, which we need to pull off. Which I need some tools for. Let's pick that up before we forget about it. Just looks all we M fit in that, doesn't it? I mean, they didn't obviously they use Jubilee clips like that from the factory. Um, so I think that's been off before, which is probably better than it not being off before. Look in there, yeah. And now if we pull this out of here, it should also be quite. And the her box is removed. There we go. Yes. Everything you touch, something falls off somewhere. That's off there. So, let's take these plugs out. Nice. Mm, might have to do something with that as well while we're here. But let's take these plugs out first. Which, what you do is you need a 16mm spark plug socket and an extension. That's a self explanatory, but you've got to wrap it like this and just twist them like that. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's a waste of time because it's easier. I mean, I'm just wasting time there, aren't I? Because I could just do this like a normal person would. But let's have a look at these sparks. Yeah. Hold on, focus, focus. Yeah, it's got some wear on that actually. Let's compare it to the new ones. And it's a ZKR 7A10, which is the same as what was in it before, so we'll assume that we've got that right. And I don't know if you can see the difference, but it's not massively burnt out, it's just that on the left, one on the left of the old one, obviously, the corners aren't sharp anymore, and it's a bit worn. I don't know if you can see that. So, we're going to put the new ones in. And now, if you put the new one where the old one came from, if you sort of lovingly find the old, and then just tighten it by hand until it's all the way bottomed and then we'll nip it up and as I've said before on many occasions there will be a torch setting for this but I don't fucking know it so I'll just nip it And then, if we take the other one off, you don't want to pull it with the actual lead. You want to pull it with the fucking hell. You want to grab it with that bit, because if you pull it with that bit, it's just going to fucking fall out, and then you're going to be pissed off. But we're going to do that. What we've just done with that spark plug, we're going to do it three more times, because this is a four-cylinder engine, so... Do the maths, and it uh, leaves us three left. I'm not going to film all that, because it's just the same. There's our old plugs. All our new ones are in. So now's a good time to check the oil levels. And it's going to need a bit, but... And as you can see there, let's check it out. Check the level again. And... After that's pretty much bang on. But it is pretty much bang on. So next what we want to do is, before we start pissing about cleaning that or anything else, we just want to start it and make sure it's not misfiring for any other reason than fucking about with that in a minute. So, because that'll be a back leak, but it's running on four, so let's turn it off and clean that. This, but we can clean it out a bit. So let's just wipe that off. And as you can see, there is just filter, which is not the worst I've seen. It's from 
feel where it's coming from. We don't want to push it too hard because that's on a stepper motor and we don't want to fuck that up because that would be brilliant. It's coming from here, which is a breather, which is also a bit blocked up, so we'll just give that a wipe out. And then let's do the, uh, let's clean that a bit more. We'll just come straight with a bit of brake cleaner. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be flooded back when we start it back up, but let's now give it another wipe. Well, we can't go mad because, well. We don't want to break this unit. It's mainly around the edges what counts, which is a bit sound fucking missing. But let's uh, do that. So it's cleaner than it was, which is, uh, it's better than it was. It's, it's not a new one, but that'll do. Right, let's now do the other thing to so turn this off. Back to this, now 7mm screws all the way around. All the way around, six of them, so let's take them out. Do the bolts don't come all the way out, but yes, when they're cooking. What I was trying to say is that they're them bolts that don't fall out when you undo them, which makes it easier. Right there. Mm, doesn't look too bad actually. Look, it's got a sponge on it so we can't see. Looks like it's been squashed in though. New one, same thing. Check inside there, it's pretty, check inside there, it's pretty clean. That fits in there nicely. And then, we um. Check it on the way out. It's the same both ways. It seems to travel on that lip there, but the other one that I took out was doing that as well, so I think it's just a design feature. But it'll squash into place. Put the lid back on. Tighten the bolts all back together and let's put it back into place. We'll try and uh, put this back on. So, first we might as well put this back in here because that's what we took out last. And then, don't forget we've got this, uh, this back line which fits onto, which fits onto that. Can you see that? This needs to be here. See. It goes off the there where my finger is anyway. We either want to put in on, which with this uh, OEM Jubilee clip, which is obviously not OEM. And then this fits onto there, and then we just put them screws back in. Tighten them up. So, then we are left with. So, just tighten that up, tighten that up, tighten that up. And then we're pretty much finished. Then we're tight. This is tight. And it's blurred. Uh, so that concludes pretty much how to do an engine service on a Fiat Punto, which exciting stuff. Now one thing that we do need to check is if you look at that a little bit low. So we want to take that up because these are quite renowned for uh, red gaskets. Oh, it's only a tiny bit low. Let's top that up. Yes. Anywhere between minimum and maximum, we'll put it up to maximum. Feeling generous. That'll do. And then, all done. Now we've just got to wait for the head gasket to go. Finished. 
and just make sure she's still running nicely. Oh, she's purring away, lovely. So, that concludes this week's episode of Fucking Events. Don't forget to like, subscribe, watch me other shit, um, whatever else YouTube says. And, uh, happy days. <laughs>